Uh, Jack and I started doing life drawing a couple months ago. Um, the first outing, I took my usual journal with me, fairly small book, and I uh, wasn't really sure what I was doing, so I started drawing with uh, a couple of different markers, and this is a brush marker. And then I tried to do sort of more involved, longer pose things using various pens. of cross hatching. Um, the next week I decided that I would try a different book which was larger and uh, still not terribly large but sort of I don't know I think it was about eight and a half by eleven and I began with a pen and then moved on. This is a sort of rather disturbing pose where I was unfortunately forced to look up the the rectum of this particular model but um, did a lot of fairly quick drawing with a pen. Again, lots of cross hatching. More cross hatching. Here he is being beheaded. And uh, even more f intense cross hatching with sort of short legs and um, strangely shaped skull. We drew this model several times over the next few weeks and uh, never quite got back to this strange uh, science fiction looking head. This is the following week. Um, again, oh no, I'm sorry, this is actually that same model, isn't it? Um, here he looks sort of like a, a stack of different bits and shapes, but uh, not terribly human. Um, <coughs> this is an, an the following week where we got to draw, um, well, I bought a much larger pad now and started to get a bit more serious about it, no longer sketchbooking. There you can see the comparative sizes of my old sketchbooks and this new monstrous sketch sketch pad um, and I also got these graphite sticks again I have haven't drawn with anything but ink in quite a few years um, so it was gonna be an interesting new challenge um, this is more or less where I ended up it was a long pose um, of three models on a stage and I drew as you can see uh, this is the main model and you know it's it's again less cross hatching this time and starting to learn to use these Conti crayons one of the nice things about Conti that you don't find with ink is that you could do different degrees of lightness so I could draw these characters in the background and make them even more abstract to kind of suggest how far away they were and uh, keep that main figure it was a little bit out of proportion and sort of dumpy looking but <laughs> has a bit of character and then uh, so the next week when we were doing um, nudes we had uh, a lot of movement and I was using just one big chunk of graphite this is a uh, just a different process drawing the human body because uh, the normal things that I draw out of life um, I think there's more latitude because you could make things distorted and yet they still seem to be acceptable, passable. But with the human body, there's um, we're also familiar with what people look like, that when you make grievous errors in proportion, they become much more evident. But um, and uh, there's a lot more correction, as you can see, going on here, which is part of the reason I usually avoid drawing with pencils, to avoid that and to make sure that I'm... Uh, as you can see, I'm about to go off the page here. And... Um, developing tone without using cross hatching which is not the normal way I do things but it's interesting to me how well there's continuing problems with proportions here but but every one of these drawings sort of has it seems to have a slightly different style to it but some of them remind me of of ancient figure drawings that uh, some of my favorite artists have done that's probably because of the medium more than any incredible ability of my drawing but I quite like the feeling and style of some of these this is a model who just wore a large pair of red high heels and nothing else and assumed various sort of cheesecake poses cross hatching creeping back in here here's a more detailed drawing longer pose 
has a sort of less life, I think, than some of the earlier drawings that I did. But um, and so just get a sense of her personality there. The next week we were back to that bald guy again, and here I was trying various <coughs> experiments in how to construct him as quickly as possible. quite like this. One of my favorite artists, and particularly artists of, of the nude, is Egon Schiele. And he was always doing these kind of drawings with bits cut off and people looking limbless and uh, energetic in some ferocious way. One of my more successful drawings so far. Here's a man shitting a brick. So um, overall, I've enjoyed life drawing. Um, I've run out of pictures to show you today, but uh, we've continued actually since then. I just haven't included them all here. But it's been an interesting experience. I can't say I enjoy it quite as much as I do sketchbook drawing, but I think that having f you know a focus and um, on a different kind of subject matter than I normally have has forced me to experiment with new materials. It's also um, interesting to have a regular kind of drawing event like this. Um, I happen to have been drawing at a place called the Spring Street Studio in Soho in Manhattan, but uh, I'm sure they're getting get-togethers like this all over the country, and uh, I would recommend you try it because it's intimidating as hell at first, and um, it's also a bit off-putting being in a room full of other people, many of whom are much better at it than you are but that's part of the, the whole process. So it's been something worth doing and I plan to continue doing it. It's also been fun to do it with my son, who is of course better at all these things than I am. 